हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड अंकित एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन अ मशीन लर्निंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल बी विच इज बेटर मोर फॉल्स पॉजिटिव और फॉल्स नेगेटिव दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन आस्क इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर द मशीन लर्निंग जॉब सो लेट्स ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन so what is first of all false positive and what is false negative so let's try to understand this thing there are two aspects are associated with this uh, kind of terminology first of all let's say you are performing some task or you conducted some experiment or you conducted some test and whatever the test is associated with you or whatever the output came from your test or task is actually a negative let's say negative but you actually predicted it as a positive so that okay uh, i'll just write it as a positive and this is negative so you perform some experiment and output is actually negative but you predicted it as a positive so those kind of cases will lie in a false positive in a false negative it is exactly reverse so actually there are some outputs which are actually positive but you predicted it as a negative so those kind of category lies in a false negative cases so our question is which is better like in your experiment or your test if you find more false positive that is better or false negative which is better so <clears throat> let's try to understand this uh, thing with the two different example one is the cancer detection medical test and one is a spam email detection what we found in our gmail or yahoo mail so let's say uh, we go for a cancer detection test and uh, some of the hospital has conducted uh, cancer detection test and we found that uh, we'll make one category like uh, found cancer so that is like a and no cancer output whatever the test has predicted that is a no cancer and here we will write like a positive and negative case so uh, these two are like a actual one and it has predicted whether cancer is there or not cancer so we will find a four two cross two matrix and each field has its own meaning like a uh, can cancer is there in the first row first column and it has predicted there is a cancer so this is a completely true positive case we are going to ignore it because it has no relevance with our uh, question and same way here also there is no cancer exists but it has predicted there is no cancer so there is no harm in it but that is a true negative case so our stuff lies in to whether particular patient has a cancer and it has predicted it's a no cancer so this kind of category will lie in a false negative so we'll write like a false negative case and this is a false positive case that there is no cancer patient has found but our test has predicted that it they have a patient has a cancer our test has predicted that patient has a cancer so this way we are going to concentrate on this false negative and a false positive part let me color it up little bit so you'll understand it clearly okay so our question is which is better false positive more false positive is better or false negative is better so uh, uh, let's given some number randomly to false negative 
let's say uh, 1500 cases we have found that patient has actually cancer but taste has predicted they have, don't have a cancer and let's just uh, put another number like thousand that patient do not have a cancer but they have a predicted cancer so let's try to analyze which case is much uh, more better in which cases whether it's in a false negative or it is in a false positive case if you have a more number there is little less harm in with respect to our taste so if you consider this false negative case patient has already cancer but we haven't detected this cancer so if you do more with this false negative kind of cases then it's very much harmful to the patient and patient will be diagnosed with a different kind of uh, treatment also and that will lead towards the death also so this kind of case is false negative is a very much dangerous so we always want that false negative must be very minimum should be minimum in case of this medical uh, cancer detection medical test now let's see false positive case so in case of false positive there is no cancer associated with the uh, patient do not have a, a cancer disease but our test has predicted cancer so there is no harm we can even suggest that you go for some more higher level tests to confirm that you don't have a cancer but our test has predicted cancer but patient do not have actually a cancer so however big number this false positive doesn't matter at least patient is on a safe side but in case of false negative if that number is higher then it will go towards the erroneous uh, medical diagnosis with re with respect to uh, that particular patient so in case of this cancer detection medical test we want that false negative should be greater than false positive and that is a uh, good for the patient uh, also so uh, in first case we have found that false negative is false negative should be more than a false positive that is a good condition basically so let's try to analyze the same thing with respect to another example and then we will conclude that uh, whether false negative or false positive more false positive is better or false more false negative is better so in spam email detection we have a two case whether particular email is spam or no, not so uh, let's make a two category that our test or our algorithm spam detection algorithm has predicted that particular email is spam and either particular email is not spam or I'll write as a harm and we have a two cases one is the positive cases and one is the negative cases so uh, clearly this is a true positive because email is actually spam and our test has already detected is as a spam so that's completely fine email is not spam and this is wrong actually this is <coughs> this is i should write as a spam email is not spam and our test also detected is as a or our algorithm ha also detected as a not spam so we'll write as a true negative case but our interest lies in this false negative and false positive case so uh, I'll make a highlight to this two point so this will okay so let's try to understand with this different example what is the terminology for this false positive and false negative compared to what our earlier case of cancer detection medical test so in case of this spam email detection false negative indicates that you found that some email is spam but you have classified as a non not spam that's completely fine you found some email is spam but that has not categorized as a not that is categorized as a non spam and it has came into your normal workspace or normal folder now let's see what is false positive 
false positive is saying that your email is not spam so that's important email definitely if it is a not spam that's important email but our test has predicted it as a spam so that is not a favorable condition for us so let's see if let's put some hundred number here and let's keep it easy here 200 so this we have found that this is not a favorable condition false positive so if more and more numbers are uh, uh, the false positive numbers are higher that means more and more our email which is not actually spam that is going into spam so that is not a favorable condition so this number should not be higher so whatever i have assumed so that means 200 emails which is not spam and it is going into spam folder so that is not a good condition but in case of this false negative this is 100 emails which is a spam and it has not classified as a spam that's completely okay at least i am not losing the contact with those person which have whom which whom they have contacted with me so in case of spam detection we have found that false positive must be Ah, false positive must be minimum false positive should be very minimum false positive should be minimum so in this case we have found that false positive should be less than false negative so 200 email our algorithm has classified they are not spam but it has classified into spam so that is not a good condition but it has classified only 100 email which is a spam but it has not classified as a spam so more and more these numbers are there that is not a good for us but this number if however big this number is that's completely okay but that is erroneous in a machine learning spam detection algorithm so we have found that actually i have written it a wrong way this one should be false positive false positive should be greater yeah so that's why i was getting confused basically so uh, we have found in a both the example that false in first example we found that false negative should be minimum so false positive should be greater but in case of second example we found that false positive should be minimum false negative should increase so our question was which is better more false positive or a false negative so we have found that there is no common rule for it based on a different problem or problem statement we found that we can define our own matrix that in case of cancer detection uh, test more false positive will be a very favorable condition but in case of spam email detection false negative is very favorable condition so there is no generic uh, no generic rule generic rule it depends on a problem statement okay so uh, that's it for this uh, video friends uh, i hope you enjoy like this video i'll be coming up with a more machine learning related uh, interview question in a future lecture so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet uh, please do subscribe it please like this uh, video and uh, by subscribing my channel 
प्लीज सपोर्ट माई चैनल सो देट आई कैन मेक मोर एंड मोर वीडियो फ्रॉम यू सो एट लास्ट थैंक यू गाइज फॉर द वॉचिंग सी यू सोन